Hey, first FTC meeting tonight. You should come. Is that the robot thing? I am not good at science. <laughs> you don't have to be. Seriously, come to the meeting. It's a blast. I don't know. It's like a sports team where we compete. We go to events with teams from all over. Check this out. Maybe I'll try it. Last year, we made it all the way to the championship. 20,000 screaming robo-fans. Will I am even played. Cool. I'll be there. Ten weeks into the qualifier. Did you post the question on the game forum? Yeah. Can't do the attachment that way. I asked my aunt to come and join us. She's an engineer who worked on this. Sweet. She should definitely be able to help us figure out why we can't raise the crates. Got another idea from this! Checked in at first FTC qualifier. Ready to bowl! Strike! Gutter ball. Epic fail. That wasn't fun. What's the point? This is the point. Guess how many times Edison failed before he created the light bulb? This isn't failure, this is step two. Heard about yesterday. Did you at least have fun? Yeah, we did. The other teams were really cool. One kid is a programming genius. He's gonna help us figure out what we can do to fix it. He'll work it out. Hey, forgot to tell you, I got an internship at the company Mr. Johnson brought in last year to help us. Sweet. Team 2875 checked in at Manchester FTC qualifier. New design is way better. Three matches in. Rank 6th! Team 4240 picked us for the finals. Same team that helped us figure out our programming glitch. We are the champs! Winning Alliance! On to the state championship. Hope we make worlds. Welcome to the FTC World Championship in St. Louis. For those of you in the stands, here's a look at the unbelievable game you're about to see these teams play. Bold over. Come on. Make it loud. Introducing the 2011-2012 first Tech Challenge game, Bold Over. Each team has one robot and three human players, two driver operators and a coach who can be a student or an adult mentor. Two teams make up an alliance. Your ally in one match just might be your opponent in another. Two alliances compete against each other in every match. Robots must be constructed from materials specified in the FTC manual, so obviously they won't look like these. All robots must fit within an 18-inch sizing cube at the start of the match, but may expand to any size during match play. One type of scoring element is a racquetball, 2.25 inches in diameter. There are 100 racquetballs on the field, 88 regular and 12 with magnets hidden inside. There are also two bowling balls on the field, one with red tape and one with blue. Each bowling ball is 27 inches in circumference and weighs 6 pounds. A third type of scoring element is a plastic ball crate. There are 12, six with a red tape stripe and six with a blue stripe. The game is played on a 12-foot square field covered with interlocking foam tiles. Behind the two backsides of the field are the Alliance stations. In front of the back corners are taped off parking zones. Infrared transmitters are mounted to help the robots find these zones. The field has red and blue home zones, which include the platform and the ramp. In the center of the platform is the home zone goal, a four inch hole with wire mesh fastened underneath. Next to the home zones are taped off protected areas. These areas are also low goals. 
Off-field goals are located in the corners next to the home zones. They have a ring of lights that glows when a magnet ball is placed in them. The 12 ball crates are stacked inverted in a triangular pattern similar to a bowling pin layout. On top of four stacks are ball tubes, each containing 25 racket balls. The 12 magnet balls are randomly placed in these groups. The two bowling balls are located in line with the ball crates. The four robots start on the home zone goal platforms in any orientation. And with the human players in place, we're ready to begin the match. Each match starts with a 30 second autonomous period. During this period, human control is not permitted. Upwriting a ball crate with your alliance colors counts five points. To count, any part of the crate bottom must contact the floor, platform, or ramp, or contact an element that is on the floor, platform, or ramp. Parking a robot in the back parking zone is worth five points. Parking in the front parking zone is worth 10 points. If a bowling ball is parked in the front parking zone, it counts 10 points. And parking a bowling ball in the back parking zone counts 20 points. A two minute driver control period immediately follows the autonomous period. During this time, each racquetball placed in the low goal is worth one point and each racquetball scored in a ball crate counts two points. This robot just earned 26 points. Magnet balls scored in the off-field goal are worth 25 points each. Your alliance can earn points by stacking ball crates, but only if they contain at least one racquetball. The judges will use blue and red striped stack sticks to measure the stack heights. The taller your stack, the more points you earn. This stack counts zero points, but the racquetball still counts two points. This two crate stack counts 10 points, plus two points for the ball. In this stack, we have a crate at the 40 point level, one at 20 points and one at 10. When we add the five racquetballs, the total is 80 points. Here we have a 20 point crate, a 10 point crate, and a zero point crate but we also add 10 points for each scored crate because they're on the platform. That's 50 points plus four balls for a stack total of 58 points. This three crate stack earns no points because the middle crate contains no racket balls and the top crate is upside down. But the ball is within the low goal, so the Alliance gets one point. At the end of the match, if your robot is holding a crate, it also counts as a stack. Here we have a crate at the 10 point level plus two racquetballs for a total of 14 points. The last 30 seconds of the driver control period is the end game. During the end game, parking your bowling ball on your home zone counts 20 points. And parking your bowling ball in your home zone goal is worth 30 points. There are a number of rules to help ensure gameplay is challenging but not overly aggressive. Breaking these rules will result in penalties or disqualification. The complete rules can be found in the game manual. And while competing, always remember gracious professionalism. Good luck. Teams. Landed in St. Louis for the Bold Over World Championship. 600 first teams. Insanely cool. Checking out the FRC matches now. These teams are unbelievable. So glad you and Mr. Martel talked me into doing this. Best time ever. End of the year party in the cap at 3 tomorrow. Awesome. Bunch of kids in my soccer team want to start a second team. They did FLL. Okay if I bring them? You can tell them all about your scholarship. Their parents will love that. Look at you, talking more people into FTC. So funny. Can't wait till next year. What's up first and all my FTC teams? This year's competition is all about persistence. 
You gotta stay persistent for this year's competition. That's the mode, that's the vibe. Keep going. We gotta change America by making science the coolest thing on the planet.